Working alongside robots should be as effortless as dancing a ballet in high heels. But unfortunately, human-centric robots aren't quite there yet. Human-centric robotics aims to integrate robots into human environments for improved productivity and quality of life. And ABB is leading the way with Omnicore, an advanced integrated platform for sustainable and autonomous robotics driving intelligent, human-centric automation. The Omnicore platform excels in enabling motion, force, and sensor applications through a single unified system. Omnicore's unmatched combination of accuracy and speed and robotics motion control marks them as an industry leader you need to know about. Coming up, we'll take a look at the Omnicore V250 XT and V400 XT controllers, but first, it's our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Banner Engineering K90 Pro indicators are 90 millimeter multicolor indicators with customizable color and flashing configurations. They feature bright LEDs with seven default colors. The K90 Pro series can be programmed using Banner's Pro Editor software and a Pro Converter cable. They come equipped with a 30 millimeter threaded polycarbonate base and a translucent polycarbonate dome and various connector options. IO Link models offer full control over color, flashing, dimming, and advanced animations. Banner Engineering K90 Pro indicators are IP67 rated, CE certified, and suitable for a wide variety of applications. Check them out today at Mauser.com. It's time to shed the light on education. It's time for David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. In the world of control automation, some devices are made to bring information into the system, some devices are made to send controls and activation out of the system so that we can run motors, solenoids, things like that. But there's some devices that are made for nothing more than to give the people working around the system some clue of what's going on. These are called indicator lights. Now sometimes these indicator lights are integrated inside the push buttons so that when you push a start button it turns green or a red light indicates that a motor's running. But some of these are what we call stack or tower lights. They happen to be one of my favorite kind of devices because who doesn't love to turn on lights and see the pretty lights flashing? But there are different kinds of indicator light towers. Usually the two different kinds of electricity that supply these are DC and AC electricity. There's also two different kinds of light bulbs. The light bulbs can be either LED, which are more power efficient, which means that they consume less electricity, and they also tend to last a little bit longer. One of the downsides though is often they are not replaceable individually. So instead we have to buy an entirely new segment. Now these tower lights are often customizable, which means that we can take apart these segments and we can look at the lights inside. Now if these are AC lights, alternating current electricity, then often we can just remove the little light bulb and replace it with another one when it burns out. But usually these LED lights are integrated into a circuit board and that circuit board inside cannot simply be removed and reinserted. So if we do end up with damage to the light and we need to replace one of the segments, or our system changes and we need to change the color of one of the light segments, we go to the manufacturer, we look at the part number, and we buy a new colored segment that's designed for that style of stack light. But you do have to be careful, because even though two stack lights may look very similar, it may be a completely different light bulb and connection configuration inside. So we need to be absolutely sure that those color connections do indeed match. The wire colors often correspond to the colors of the light segments inside. So we have one common supply for electricity, or one common ground, and the remainder of the wires are designed to allow the electricity to flow through the individual lights, or sometimes buzzer segments, and then proceed back to the common of the power supply so that we can control the indication of the lights individually rather than having them all turn on constantly. This can be great for the operation of machines where we need to be able to see alarms, we need to be able to see the running status, or sometimes we even need to blink the lights at different rates to provide different indications of faults or running status. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. ABB's Omnicore platform is a total game changer. Let's take a look at the Omnicore V250 XT and V400 XT controllers. These controllers support manufacturers in adapting to market changes through process automation, enhancing productivity, scalability, and digital integration. They also feature high-performance motion control, achieve 20% energy savings, offer built-in digital connectivity, and provide scalable capabilities perfect for 
automotive, logistics, and general manufacturing applications. The V250 XT supports robots like the IRB 6740 handling payloads up to 310 kilograms, accommodating three additional drive units, and offers an extra 15 liters of capacity. Then there's the V400 XT. It's designed for larger robots like the IRB 8700 and is capable of managing payloads up to 800 kilograms. It accommodates six additional drive units and provides an additional 50 liters of space. Hey, that does it for today, but be sure to check out what's great about the Omnicore E10 by clicking the link.